Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Shivax here, back again with another video. And this time around, I brought a new benchmark and gaming test for my brand new PC, which was the Lenovo Idea Center 5i gaming desktop that I previously unboxed a couple weeks ago. And now it's time to see how much power is in it, how much can it cool, and is it worth the money I paid. So, without wasting any time, let's jump right into it and let's see how well this PC performs. So we have our desktop right over here and we also have a face cam setup which I know I'm lacking a little bit of background. Bruh. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no. Holy Jesus. What is that? This is my first face cam, so comment down below how well you like it or not. Now, I'm also going to be putting some timestamps down there so that you can skip through some parts where you're more interested in. We also have a Riva tuner set up as well so we can see our performance with some stats as well. So let's uh, open up our game. And just so that you guys know, I haven't done any sort of overclocking or I haven't changed anything in the hardware. This is just as it is out of the box. Alright, so now that we have loaded up our game, we can see in the right hand side of our corner, we have our couple stats, which is our graphic card, the RTX 3060. We also have the CPU, which is the Intel Core i7-12700 processor. We have our temperature on the left side and utilization on the right side. Then we, ch we have our RAM, which is how much is using on the right and how much is left on the left, I'm pretty sure. And furthermore down, we have our FPS counter on the bottom. We also have the spikes graph over here, which is really helpful to see where this PC struggles with spikes as well. So first of all, we're gonna start off by playing uh, creative. And we're gonna see how well our PC performs. So, okay, like over here, you just saw there was like this stutter over here, a big stutter. It just went to one FPS for some reason. All right, so now we're just gonna get in our creative mode and let's see. Okay, so we have loaded in here and uh, the settings that I'm using is this. So I'm using performance mode. And this is all my settings. So epic view distance, textures are high, meshes are high, and our 3D res is 100%. This is the color brand setting I used and I've set it to unlimited so that we can see how well it goes. So those of you out there which have different refresh rate monitors, it may help you. So right about you see over here which we need to render a lot. You can see that our PC is getting around 400 FPS, 500, maybe even 600, depends. So that is pretty awesome. Now let's load into our map. Okay. So we have loaded into our map. See, just a blank map with some buildings over here. And we're just looking up in the sky and we're getting about 500, 600 FPS, which is really awesome. And our latency marker on the top right hand corner, it says zero, but I doubt that because I don't think it's zero. But you can see I'm getting ton of smooth FPS and you can see, I believe I have a really low latency, honestly, because that's why I can uh, build properly like this, you know, build and edit. And you can also see my ping is that it reaches around 1 to 5 ping, which is like really awesome. So that means that our Wi-Fi card in this is really strong. I believe this PC has a Wi-Fi 6E card, so pretty awesome. You can see I can tunnel really well. Alright, so now that you guys have seen the creative performance, let's hop into a real game and let's see what's the test in there. By the way, just to let you guys know, I am recording this at 1080p at 120 frames per second and this is how much it's utilizing. 0.5 to 0.3% of our CPU. Pretty awesome. Some more settings to let you know. This is uh, our output, so for recording. I have set this to MP4, NVIDIA, HFINK, H.264 and with more settings over here, I'm recording at CBR at 150,000 kbps which is a lot and it gives me very high quality and smooth playback of my gameplay. So I'm recording this at a really high frame rate and really high quality but still, this PC outperforms many others. Pretty awesome. Okay so we finally loaded into our map and right about now our FPS is 
ranging from 200 but when i go into certain areas where it has to render a lot there you can see the fps is still at 200 but sometimes it goes down to 150 130 170 but it really depends on which area you are at and that's where the real performance is so right now uh we have just loaded in and as you can see we're getting about 240 fps we look up in the sky 600 boom and now let's land and let's actually see what's our performance and we also have our graph over here on the left hand side of our screen our temperature and our utilization so by looking at that our graphic card is being utilized 60 percent our cpu is being utilized only 40 percent so our hardware isn't being utilized at 100 percent so i wish if it were then we would get more and more performance but for now 150 fps is not that bad and once we land that's when we're gonna get the real performance so i have landed and let's see so it's showing 300 right now because i'm looking down but if i look up so 240 so people who have different refresh rate monitors you will have to vary about fps but for me, I have a 120 hertz monitor, so it really doesn't matter for me because I can cap it at 120 and it stays like that. So it's pretty awesome. So right now I'm just in a store and it's at 350, so it works. It's not bad, but let's see as we progress on. Oh, I really needed that. The Maven shotgun, I will need that. Ooh. There we go. And I'll take that. Yep. So we have a nice loadout right now. And back to looking at our performance, which is our main thing. You can see we're ranging at 300 FPS, 200. Really depends on the surrounding. But so far, our performance is really nice. Like the previous PC I used to own, that PC would get only 75 FPS. So comparing this to that, it's a big difference. Here's someone. I think it's a bot. There we go. I've never seen this. What is this? Oh, that guy's sneaking up. Okay, go get him. We really need to be careful here. I'm glad the NPC is helping me. This guy might be getting the chuck splash in. Oh, my guy has a double barrel. Not for long. There we go. Okay, so... Wow. This guy had purple loot. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I need an SMG. From here. So that I can survive. Okay, there's one more person over there. I need to wait. Okay. I hit him. Okay. Oh, I hit him too. Okay, I might need to go in. That's time for action. Okay. Okay, I got him. I need to get that guy too. Oh, oh, I got another key. Okay. Okay, that's done. Yeah, he's done now. Okay. Okay. Chilling. He's behind me. No! Oh my god, the Shadow Tracker. So looking at our stats on our PC and overall performance, you can see right now it's getting 300 FPS, but it varies from place to place. And you can see it went down to 195 or 180. And it really depends on how you're using it. Like right now, I put it into performance mode and used epic view distance and high texture, high meshes. If you're really picky about performance, just use low textures and low meshes and you will be good to go. 
Now let's play another game and let's see the performance there and we will talk about the overall performance and then we will move on to the benchmarks. So let's hop right into that. All right, so game number two has finally loaded and our performance is looking really awesome just like before, oops. Okay, and our graph on the left side of our screen, you can see the temps and utilization. So our graphic card is utilized 60%. Our CPU on the other hand is being utilized 30%. Our temperatures on the other hand, well, they look a little bit concerning and I'll tell you why. You know, 72 degrees is not that bad for a CPU, but prolonged use, it can ruin it. And in the long term, yes, it will definitely damage your hardware like your motherboard, your CPU, or other parts of your PC. So, you know, I recommend changing the stock cooler on this PC to a better cooler like a liquid cooler like those API APU thingies or just you know a normal regular fan that just you know works better than a stock cooler because otherwise you will have to get a new PC which is a hassle oh let's go okay there's a llama over there I have to go get it There we go. Look at the bad boy. Alright, so now let's heal up real quick. I don't want to get. I can't even edit. Okay, tag them. Is he running away? From who? Bro, like. Oh, yeah, he's over there. No, 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 okay. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. I knew it. Don't worry. Just gotta make sure I have everything reloaded. Okay. That's game over for him. Yep, there we go. I have to play it safe. I'll just hide in the bushes for a little bit. Alright, see you guys later. Okay, there's people over there. I wasted so many mats. Still probably box up or something. Yeah. He probably gave up on me. Maybe. Okay, well, after a very long time, didn't get to win the game. It's okay, we at least got to see the performance and everything. And overall, our PC performed really well with really low latency. Only the concern is about the temperature of the CPU, which will be fixed if we change the cooler on it to like a better cooler, which I'm thinking to change, but we'll see about that. Now let's jump into our benchmark. All right, so now let's pull up our benchmark test. So we already have downloaded this app, which is the Cinebench app for benchmarks and stuff so we're gonna do two tests it's the multi-core and single core and we're gonna see how well it performs and how many points we get so we're gonna start off with single core so now let's start and it is doing the render test and it's gonna do it for 10 minutes and we're gonna see how well it performs so hope for the best 
and see you guys in 10 minutes. So as you saw in all those benchmarks and the gaming test, our PC performed really well with really high points and FPS. Such as in Fortnite, the most that we got was 700 FPS which is really awesome and creative. Now talking about in public matches, yes our frames did drop down to like 120 and stuff but it is really awesome and is really better than my old PC which would at most get only 75 FPS so this comparing to that is a big difference. Now I know you guys out there who have different opinions about this PC but from my perspective this is a really awesome PC because not only I can record my gameplay at really high and really smooth FPS but also play the game with high settings and smooth FPS with multiple tabs running in the background so this PC can handle lots of multitasking and hardcore gaming at the same time so if you wish to see the unboxing of this PC check out this link on the top of the video and if you're thinking to buying it the link for it will be in the description box below of that video and also this video so please check that out once again and also my studio gear over here if you want to see that make sure to go down in the description box to find that as well now our main thing make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like this video we're so close to hitting a thousand subscribers so make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe down below so that we can reach a thousand subscribers and we can get monetized. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya and enjoy your new gaming desktop.